So, as you guys know, I jailbreak uh, iPod Touch a while ago, and I was installing a uh, summer board theme, and I went to the SMB prefs, clicked on it, and it just completely shut down my iPod, didn't work at all, had to put it into recovery mode, it's the second time I had to do it. Um, in the whole time I've had this, uh, ticked me off because I had all that personalized stuff in there and a bunch of contacts. I didn't want to do it. I tried everything, try and get it back, but that's what it looks like. All back to normal. So sad. So I thought it would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys uh, physically how to jailbreak it website I'm at right now the iPhones blog and right down here that and right down here it says click to download the iPhone click on it and it'll ask you for if your Windows or Mac running on Windows It'll ask you to run or save. I always push run. I don't know. It still works. And it takes a while. So I'm going to show you how I put my iPod into recovery mode. What you do. Let me put the camera down. The easiest way to do it is to turn it off I'm going to turn it off right now well, and once you have it turned off hold down the home button keep it hold down and plug in your USB connector cord and keep it held down until the sign comes up uh, plug the iPod and sync it with iTunes and then you can let go and it'll say it's in recovery mode and all that stuff check for your firmware um, the first time I had to restore it I tried the iPhone and I clicked on the wrong thing and it sent this into some bricking thing and I just told you I had to restore it again and it's horrible I, I mean I tried everything I googled a bunch of stuff see if I can find it so I can uh, keep it personalized but there's no way so I had to restore it very sad let's see what's in <laughs> no contacts luckily I have a phone see no music no nothing no Joe Mama slide to unlock no custom battery charger it's horrible, but it's a fresh start, and I'll get you guys back here when the, the iPhone gets done. Uh, I would like to point out that I am running firmware uh, 1.1.5, which is what you get when you restore it all over again. Look at this. Uh, 1.1.5 is just a little bit more updated and says some bug fixes and stuff. It's not much. But <clears throat> this is what the iPhone only works with uh, 1.1.4, 1.1.5, uh, 2.0, stuff like that. Just wanted to make that clear. Alright, it got done. It took a while, uh, about 30 minutes. Push run. Said unzip it. Uh, push unzip. Oh yeah. Hold up. So it should create a folder right here. 
double click uh, right here. May look different if you're on Mac, but there's a list of all these icons. Click on this one. Kind of blurry. Click on that one. Jailbreak, iPhone, iPod. Double click, sorry. And it should do this. So now your iPod should do that. And then it starts doing this. I got freaked out the first time I did it. And it should be the apple and it should keep on doing more of that stuff. <clears throat> what I did the first time to make it restore is I clicked on that one right there. Unlock, activate, jailbreak, iPhone. The problem was I wasn't running an iPhone. And that's what it should look like. And the app will show up again. It does take a while. So while I'm waiting for that, it has to be that one. Or your iPod will crash and to restore it all over again. And look what we have here. Slide to unlock. And yay! My old friend, the installer app. Oh, uh, you will have another app, the iPhone's blog. You don't have to keep that one. I keep it. I never look at it. It just looks cool. So, yeah, now you have the installer. I, I think it comes with sources. Can't remember. It was a long time ago. Uh, it'll say this. Donate now. Donate later. There's my Wi-Fi. And, yep, it does come with sources. So I can install most of the stuff I had before. Whew, that's good. <clears throat> Alright, thanks for watching.